Hi, my name is Mr. Payton. Welcome back to my series on communication skills. In this episode, we're going to focus on presenting. You may not think that you present very often, but you probably present more than you think, especially if you're on social media. So let's dig into a couple of areas of presenting that we may be able to improve in or we're already good at. First, let's start with a, present, uh, a, a definition of presentations and presenting. It's simply how we display ourselves to others. And so in that way, if you really stop and think about it, we are in charge of our audience or the person we're talking to's experience. In some ways, we're all producers and directors. And I think if we start to look at it that way, maybe it's not so nervous for you. Maybe it's not so difficult. I can only imagine that if you're in high school or middle school and standing up in front of the class might sound like the most terrifying thing in the world. But maybe if you speak to your teacher and there's an alternative way to present, which we'll talk about later, maybe you can find some success in doing so. I really want to hit on two major areas of presenting. Presenting yourself personally, okay, and then presenting yourself through media. Let's start with personal. When you talk to someone, when you go into the grocery store, when you're walking down the street, that is a form of presentation. That speaks to how you're dressed, how you walk, how you carry yourself, if you're neat and clean. It shows if you're in a hurry or if you're relaxed. Everything that you do physically is a form of presentation. The question is, is who is your audience? Well, it depends on where you are. Are you walking around a neighborhood? Are you walking on campus? Are you going from your car to work? Doesn't matter what you're doing, you are presenting yourself to someone. Now, some of you are like, Man, I don't care what people think, and it's my life, I can do whatever I want, which is 100% true. The only issue with that is when you decide that you want people to listen to you and pay attention to you, you can't just flip a switch and all of a sudden try to clean up and show them a different thing. If they've been seeing you for days and days and days and they see that you don't put any effort into what you're doing, when it's time for you to get their attention, they're going to know you're putting on a show. So that is absolutely a personal choice. This episode and these skills are for you. It's for you to make your own decisions about when and how important you think these things are. Okay? So that's your personal presence. Guys, then we have our virtual presence. And I got to tell you, I'm a little older. I'm in my late 40s. And I have lots of my former students following me on social media and on different platforms. And the number of, of young men and young women I see flipping a bird. Really, you guys? And I get it. You're just having fun. And that's like the cool thing to do right now. But you have to understand, there's somebody my age who could possibly look at that. When I was coming up, if someone flipped a bird, that's a fight. Or at least I'm in your face. I'm older now, somebody flips me a bird now, I could care less because I got too many other things I'm worried about. And so you have to always understand, what is it you're trying to convey? And again, it's your choice. I don't care, Mr. Payton, what people think. I ain't worried about what they think. That's fine until you got to go get a job. That's fine until you got to go to your kid's school. Okay? So just give it some thought. Your decision. Now let's go to... Some of the ladies, you want people to respect you, but yet every picture you do is puckered lips and trying to show some type of suggestive position. You turn around showing on your backside or you're showing your chest with the kind of the, how low cut your shirt is. And that's fine. Look, if you're an adult and that's how you get down, I'm not judging. I'm simply saying that everything you do is sending a message. Are you trying to send a message that your body is the most important asset you have? Or are you sending a message that your mind is the most important asset you have? If you're trying to send a message that your mind is the most important asset, then cover yourself up. Gentlemen, if you're trying to show that you're about business, then flipping a bird and throwing up signs is not the way to do that. Again, I'm not judging here. What I am trying to do is offer you perspective. What we try to do is we want to live our lives and do whatever we got to do until it's time to shift or to change or to pivot. When we got to go into that business office or when we got to go into that meeting, we all of a sudden want people to take us seriously. 
Well, understand, people have access to your social media accounts. They have access to your different platforms. If on those platforms you're showing a very casual, I don't give a you know what, then it's gonna be hard for them to take you serious. And again, that is your personal choice. I'm simply trying to share with you what it could be saying to others. Now that we're talking about media, let's talk about two areas of that. We've kind of already touched on digital media, but I'll go into that in a little more detail. Just keep in mind, if you are a business person, make sure everything is clean and sharp. Try to make sure things are consistent. If you have a motto or, or a title, make sure it's the same on every single piece of social media you have, unless you're purposely trying to show them different sides of your company. For those of us who are trying to just build an online following, maybe try to become YouTubers or trying to be streamers, again, you still want to make sure that everybody knows your identity. Whatever it is you're about, make sure that it's clear and consistent across all your platforms. Now coming back to media and what I call hard copy, which most of us don't use very often. But that's talking about things like business cards. That's talking about like turning in a paper or an essay, which most people don't have to do anymore. You can just turn in everything online. That can mean a poster that you make. For those of you out there who are artists and who draw freehand, you already know what time it is. You want it to be sharp, you want it to be your best work. You don't want smears and smudges on there, so you're gonna wear gloves and there are different things you can do. The point is, is that everything we do, whether it be media, online, or hard copy, whether it be personal, online or in person, it's sending a message. The whole point of this conversation in terms of presentation is simply to say this. Are you sending the message that you want to send? You're in charge of it. So if somebody misunderstands you or somebody isn't clear about what you're trying to present, the first place you should look is in the mirror. Did I really put myself out there the way I wanted to be understood? And if you did, cool. Sleep at night, no problem. But if you didn't, consider making some changes. And remember, the whole point is, is that you want to be able to live the life that you want to live. So just make sure that when you present yourself to the public or to your friends or in professional settings, that you send the message that you're trying to convey. So here's my challenge to you. Find three friends, people that you're actually cool with. And ask them to try to describe you in one word in terms of your appearance. So ask them, would they say you're classy, sophisticated, sloppy, neat, cute, sharp, handsome? Ask them to try to describe you. Get some feedback from people who are close to you that you trust, who are going to be honest, and just see, are you sending the message that you want to send? Get it from people that you love and people who care about you so that you can accurately evaluate what's going down. This has been another episode of Communication Skills. I hope you found some value in it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Got more good content coming. Everybody have a great day. Thank you.